Jason Snipe, tell me first about buying more Goldman Sachs because on the heels of the conversation with Marco, uh, it plays right into his thinking. Yeah, no doubt. So for me, obviously, uh, GS is up almost 37 uh, percent year to date. Obviously, it's been a, it's been a rocket ship. But what I will say is uh, the print was strong, you know, here in the last couple of weeks, over the last couple of weeks. Um, really like the pipeline. I think they have a strong pipeline. There's strength in underwriting. There's strength in equity trading. You know, so it was a, it was a name that we decided to actually add some capital to, for sure. Yeah, you trimmed Horton, which, um, which is interesting to me. I mean, you know, look, stock's up. Uh, it's a double. It's up 100 percent in the last year. Uh, but there's so much optimism around what's happening in the housing space still. Yeah, for sure. So obviously it's up 40 percent year to date. Um, I do. I really like the housing trade. I like the do it yourself names. I like the builders. But, you know, concerned about material prices. You know, I think they might be at peak, but, you know, saw lumber pull back a little bit over the last few days. But, you know, for us, this is kind of some portfolio management, taking some chips off the sideline. OK. And Joe, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Jason. Uh, Joe, you sold Louisiana Pacific, which I think we just spoke about the, the other day of what I think is a really new position. So what what gives? No, I've, I've had that position for a while. The stock's down 12% since Monday. Uh, that obviously motivated me to sell, but in addition, mm. the fundamental factor of this has been a play on lumber, and we've got Canadian mills, which are increasing production. Rail transportation is improving. You're going to see a lot of that lumber coming down, much-needed supply into the U.S. That's why the stock is under pressure. All right, good stuff, Joe. Thank you.